You are now Tony Award winners uh, for Best Revival of a Musical Parade. Tell me what this experience feels like. This is 25 years from the original production at yep. the Vivian Beaumont, and to have, we're so lucky to have Jason and Alfred who could be part of this revival with us, um, and to have them on stage was such a, I mean, it's really incredible. What is so much. I, I'm sure, and, and this is a show that I first fell in love with as a, as a theater kid. I fell in love with the cast album all those years ago, but didn't get a chance to see it because of its brief run that first time around. To have it come back in this way and be so celebrated and have the, the acclaim and the, and the, the audience is just lining up uh, and now to win this Tony Award, what does that feel like to be a part of this show's legacy in, in this way? I think it, it sort of, it, having seen it 25 years ago and um, I actually went and saw it in London and in LA when it was done. It's a musical I've been a fan of for a very long time. Yes. Um, I'm so happy that Jason and Alfred are able to have this moment because it is such an extraordinary musical in our canon. Yeah. And to have Michael be able to take it and interpret it in this way and to have it resonate where the love story between Leo and Lucille is really front and center. So as much as he He's highlighting everything that happened and the and the warnings we need to take. Um, it is also about the two of them, and it's just it's it's been a dream come true. And your writers, I've been hi, hi. <laughs> come on in, come oh, on, hi, kids. We were um, we were just here. Come on over here, sir. Uh, we were just talking about uh, your your work that uh, uh, us theater kids fell in love with all those years ago, and fell in love with via the cast album, but didn't get a chance to. Uh, see, because that first run was so brief, to have it celebrated in this way now, do you think it's more rewarding? Do you think it is, uh, I mean, were you... I know you, it's more rewarding. It is? I mean, the first one was pretty rewarding also. <laughs> yes. But I, uh, I, I, I don't think either Alfred or I could have imagined that this is the way this would come out. We're just, I, I mean, I'm beside myself. It's yeah. amazing. It's, it's remarkable due to these wonderful producers and this wonderful company. Yeah. It, it, it seems like a, a, a very a, a big a risk to take to produce this kind of theater right now, but it seemed like it had to have been done because of the conversations that... I agree, and it was no risk for us at all. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. <laughs> but coming back to it all those years later, uh, what was that experience like coming back as the original authors? You know, I... I've been sort of carrying the torture parade for a long time. Yeah. We've been conducting it, and Alfred and I rewrote a, a big chunk of it for the Donmar production in right. 2007. So we've been part of it a lot, but I think there was something very different just being 25 years older and stepping into the room with, like you say, all these theater kids who had grown up on the show. That was very new to me, was just to be around people who knew the show so well and loved it so much and carried that into the room with them already. And a brilliant director yeah. who had a whole new concept of it that I never even thought of. Sort of like true crime on television. Right. I thought it was remarkable. Never would have occurred to me. And Michael Arden, was, when he was in here earlier, he was talking about the fact that he really, the reason why he's in the theater is because of Hal Prince. Uh, and that he was a... a he yeah, me too, as it happens. Uh, uh, yes, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> me too. Yeah, yes, absolutely. Um, it's incredibly rewarding, uh, uh, especially as uh, as a, uh, a Jewish man, uh, to to see this piece uh, because it is uh, very very important that these conversations uh, keep happening and, and the work that that all of you have done to bring us back to Broadway is just thrilling. It's got to be. It, it's got to feel incredible. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? <laughs> it really does. It does. Um, well, congratulations. You guys get to now enjoy the rest of the night. Uh, uh, you you can go party and dance the night away, well, as I know can, you do. Well, we can get out of the hottest we do theater in America. Everybody. I heard the AC was not working so it's well. It's astonishingly no hot here. <laughs> Just stand out here, right on 176th Street. That's You'll be fine. Yeah. We're totally into it. Thank you, sir. Right. Thank you. Congratulations. Congratulations. Have a great night. Thank, Thank you. You got it, man.